Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel. We have some really interesting and really good news about AMD's upcoming GPU, the Radeon RX 9070 and the 9070 XT. So reports are coming out according to YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead, who is a prominent leaker and has many sources which we can't really confirm but he has been quite right in the past sometimes and sometimes he's been wrong but it is acceptable. He is one of the more reliable leakers and according to him, the Radeon RX 9070 XT should be roughly around 15% faster than its competitor from Nvidia which is the RTX 5070 Ti. So if you notice, in the past, AMD's 700 XT GPUs have only been able to compete or go up against Nvidia's 70 non-Ti GPUs. For example, the 6700 XT which I'm using in my rig right now as I speak, it is basically just under an RTX 3070 non-Ti in raw performance. But now everything looks to be changing because this 9070 XT version, it is faster than Nvidia's 5070 Ti, so it is faster than the best version of the 5070 which is the 5070 Ti. And the 9070 XT is also projected to roughly match the RTX 4080 Super in raw gaming performance. The 9070 non-XT is expected to be around 12% faster than the RTX 5070. Once again, historically, we've had AMD's 700 XT GPUs be a bit behind, like about 10% behind the equivalent um, Nvidia 70 class GPU. Once again, we have the example of the 3070 and the 6700 XT, where the AMD card, despite having more VRAM and whatnot, it is still 10% behind the 3070, okay? But now, the 9070 non-XT, which is supposed to be the worst GPU, it is 12% faster than the 5070. Like the non-XT variant of this GPU, even that one is not behind but about 12% faster than AMD 70 class GPU. And these are limited to rasterization performance and when ray tracing is brought to the scene, the improvements are expected to be substantially more modest as per tradition. But RDNA 4 is supposed to be an insane upgrade in terms of ray tracing because this is going to be faster than the 7900 XTX in ray tracing by a long shot. The 9070 XT is now falling somewhere between the RTX 4070 Ti Super and the RTX 3090 Ti. So this GPU is looking like it has more ray tracing performance or very close to than the RTX 4070 Ti Super and it is just under a 3090 Ti. And the RX 9070 non-XT, it is basically around a 4070 Super with the ray tracing enabled and more than a 4070 Ti with ray tracing disabled. Yeah, this does sound very good considering AMD's track record with ray tracing because even the 7900 XTX, right as we speak, it does not match or even get close to the RTX 4070 Ti Super with ray tracing enabled. So maybe the 9070 XT is going to be the first AMD card ever to be able to run path tracing to some degree. I don't know, we'll see. And someone has also made this super good chart using Hardware Unboxed uh, 4K 17 game average in their 5080 video and they have like overlaid the expected performance for the 9070 XT and the base 9070. And here the 9070 XT is looking like a great contender. It is making a fool of the 5070 Ti and the 5070 and even the base 9070 is a lot faster than the base 5070 while just edging out the 4070 Ti and just being a bit under the 4070 Ti Super in rasterized performance at 4K which is a very good result for the AMD card which is supposed to be for 1440p gaming but it is doing very good at 4K so that's very good to see. And the 9070 XT is just under the 7900 XTX in rasterization which is the current top of the line AMD GPU. Once again a great result for the 9070 XT which puts it 3% faster than a 4080 Super with ray tracing disabled. That is an enticing level of performance and this could end up being priced a bit higher than we initially expected but with this level of performance it is kind of to be expected but I still hope for the 549 or like $580 price point which we initially discussed. 
I really hope that this does not go above $600, but even at $650, if we imagine, it is still going to destroy NVIDIA every single 50 series GPU except the 5090. Yeah, the 5070 is behind, the TI is behind, and the 5080 is not much faster in rasterization to justify its price increase of more than double at the moment, okay? So, assuming that this card comes out at $600, the 5080 is currently selling for more than $1,200. You are not finding a 5080 for MSRP, okay? Even though it is a $1,000 GPU on paper, it is essentially an upselled or name-changed 5070 because, like before, I said that historically, AMD has never been able to beat NVIDIA's equivalent 70 class GPU, the, the non-TI one, with their um, 700 XT GPU. But this time, they are getting very close to the RTX 5080, and they are beating the 5070 Ti with their 9070 XT. So there is something fishy going on with NVIDIA's naming scheme, so this makes me believe that the 5080 is just an upselled or name-changed 5070, or maybe a 5070 Ti if I'm being generous with NVIDIA, which I should never be. And it is just a 5070 or 5070 Ti. The name is changed to 5080, and the price is increased to $1000, and you are never gonna find it for $1000 because every single company which makes GPUs, every single AIB, they have to make their own profits, and Nvidia only positioned their own Founders Edition 5080 at $1000, so these cards are gonna get very pricey, like $1200, $1300, even more for a 70 class product and you can get the 9070 XT for um, not much worse performance in rasterization and respectable ray tracing for the price for half as much. So this is looking like a very good product from AMD's side and this is expected to release in March sometime soon. And I hope that these leaks are indeed accurate. Once again, these are still leaks so take everything with a pinch of salt. but. Since we have heard a lot about this, and also, AMD themselves commented when people were saying that the 9070 XT was originally going to be priced at $899 USD, AMD's Frank Azor jumped on social media platform X and explained, While we aren't going to comment on all the price rumors, I can say that $899 was never part of the plan. So, AMD themselves have commented using the exact figure, the rumored $899 initial price, and they said that this was never part of the plan for RDNA 4, which means that the actual 9070 XT is gonna cost way less than this, because this is just a monstrosity, and this should have never happened, okay? 900? That is insane. And this is as fake as it gets, okay? And AMD even said in like an interview at CES that this is not gonna be a thousand dollar GPU, it is gonna be much less than that. That is what they said, so... I'm still gonna say that this is going to be around $600 or maybe $650 if we go very high, and even that is okay because we are getting slightly under 5080 levels of performance in rasterization for half the price. So if this does work out, the 5080 is only about 10 to 15% faster than the 4080 Super, okay? And this card is right around a 4080 Super. That is insane, so. It is only this close to the 5080, which I never expected, you know, I just, I never expected this mid-range product to be this close to a supposedly high-end NVIDIA card like a 5080, but that is only because, once again, the 5080 is only an upselled and name-changed 5070 Ti, and that is true. So, if AMD plays everything correctly, they price it near a 5070, make it beat a 5070 Ti, and get it close enough to the 5080 that it kills off any hype for the 5080. Then Nvidia is in for a lot of trouble and AMD could come swinging back this generation with RDNA 4. But once again, AMD, we don't know what they do. They could price this at $700 and I don't know, they could do whatever they want but realistically, they've said enough and reassured us enough that I am confident that this is going to be 600 at best, maybe 650 and it is still gonna be an amazing product. 